Get ready to draw your bow. Here's your look at the Diamond Select DC Arrow, the television series PVC Diorama Gallery Statue. After a violent shipwreck, billionaire playboy Oliver Queen was missing and presumed dead for five years before being discovered alive on a remote island in the Pacific. When he returns home to Starling City, his devoted mother Moira, his beloved sister Thea, and best friend Tommy welcome him home, but they sense Oliver has been changed by the ordeal on the island. While Oliver hides the truth about the man he's become, he desperately wants to make amends for the actions he took as the boy he was. As Oliver reconnects with those closest to him, he secretly creates the persona of Arrow, a vigilante to the right, the wrongs of the family, fight the ills of society and restore Starling City to its former glory. This PVC diorama of Arrow is based on his appearance in the CW TV show and is cast in high quality plastic and features a collectible quality paint application. It was sculpted by Rocco Tartamella. Before we have a look at this gorgeous statue, the first thing we're going to do is figure out how tall the Oliver Queen or Arrow statue stands. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why is this going past, why is he measuring past the head of Arrow? Well, I'm actually going to the very top of his arrow. The arrow is located in the back of his quiver, just to give you the measurement of exactly how tall it is, because it obviously is going to go past his head. And the answer to that is 12.1 inches, about 12 inches in height. Switching that over to centimeters, let's go ahead and do that right now. You're looking at 30.7 centimeters in height. Oliver appears to be perched atop of a rooftop here, peering down onto uh, the cityscape here. You can see already he's got his arrow in hand, or his bow, I should say, in hand, and one arrow is pulled out from the quiver. I guess this does bring some attention immediately to one of the problems, unfortunately, with this statue. It's not necessarily a sculpt standpoint, but it's the way that the arrow comes out of packaging. It's very warped. Uh, it does have a bend to it, an uh, unnatural bend that one would certainly not expect an arrow to actually have. So you could, I suppose, heat that a little bit. It's of a very thin plastic, so you may want to be very careful of doing that. But just heat it slightly, bend it back into place, maybe to about there, and then see if you can cool it off so it doesn't warp. Now this is not necessarily everybody's statue, but I do feel the need to mention it on this particular statue because this is the one that we're having a look at. The uh, the bow, a fantastic job done on the bow itself, is made up of plastic. In fact, actually, the entire statue is made up of plastic. I suppose we could point out some of the fragile S aspects of the statue. Primarily, it's the draw cord on the back of the arrow here. This is also made of plastic. The arrows are also, of course, made of plastic. But both these instances, this example here and this example here, are made of a thinner variety of plastic versus, say, the makeup of the entire body. So you want to be a little bit careful of that. Spin the statue around. You've got a series of arrows, not individual, because as you'll see, 
hopefully, as you'll see, all the arrows, the feathered portions of the arrows, are all attached to one another, sort of completing the package. There's no way that these are separate. You can move them from one another, nor can you pull them out. They're molded in place to the back quiver on the back of Oliver's back here. Really nice job on it. Very simplistic, keeping only to the color of black. You can see that there are a few little rivet points there added in silver, just to give you a little extra, little extra umph. I'm all about extra umphs. Obviously, we could look our attention over at to his face, but I'm going to just focus a little bit first on what I think to be the rooftop area in which the statue is standing atop of. It's rather interesting that they've kind of dirtied up, almost snowed up the bottom undersides of its of Oliver's soles here. You can even see how it's left behind a snowy full, uh, footprint. This could also be dust, it could also be dirt, but being that it's white, I'm assuming it's probably more like snow or salt as he's walking across the rooftop here. It's a really nice display base. It's above and beyond simply just giving him a perch, a little black base in which the figure can stand atop of. It's got some nice colorings here in the gold, kind of a little bit of a scuffed up additional bronze that's been added to the side. It's a nice looking base. And just to show you what it looks like on the underside, there's not really a whole lot to speak of. A lot of hollow cavity happening here, but you're really not ever going to display the statue anyways like this. I can't think of anybody that would really want to display their statues like this. I guess if you did, you'd be very much greeted to this daily by very open bottom to the, the actual statue display base. Uh, the statue does look quite good. I like the perch, the stance in which they've got arrow. Uh, one knee, of course, bent on top, standing atop the highest area of the display base. Again, you've got a little bit of that I want to again say it's snow, it could possibly then be any one of the things I've just previously mentioned, but there's a little bit right underneath his boots. I guess just looks like he's been running through a terrain before running atop of here, the, the little topped perched area here, before he's about to fire down one of his arrows. Now again, we've talked all about this, we want to talk a little obviously about his face. I think the face sculpt is actually quite good on him. I like that they've given him a little bit of stubble, as arrow should have stubble. Now he's got his, not painted in mask, but it looks like he does have a fully realized mask now. Skin tone is quite good on him all around. The, the suits, I wasn't going to say armor, but I guess it is a little bit of probably armor plating in there. But his suit is a really nice form-fitted uh, textured material. It's obviously not real material, it's plastic. You can kind of see all the little tech strings that Diamond Select have incorporated to things such as his arms. There's a little bit of like meshing here that carries its way also into the top shoulder area and down to the little slitted areas on the front of the outfit as well. Some of those rivet points that we talked about before on the quiver make their appearances here in some of these strapped strips of green fabric that make their way onto Oliver's suit. Primarily here on the side, especially, especially <laughs> you've got some of those little rivet points down there as well. Uh, looks like he's got some little bullets here on also his shoulder strappings. A little bit of the armor plating there on his shoulder. Again, it's a nice looking statue. I think the face sculpt is really where the statue excels in. That's maybe not 100% true. I think it competes not only with a good head sculpt, but also really, again, liking the stance that they've got Arrow in. Really, when you walk into a room, what drives your attention focuses your eyes on what you have in your collection. Primarily is usually the pose first. You look at the statue and see how it's posed, how the character is posed. And then as your eye gets closer and closer to it, you start picking up all the little details, the texturing to the fabrics, the colorings of the suit. And then, of course, you will look at the face. But I think the driving force for a lot of the many of the Diamond Select releases, these gallery statues are real prime candidates for immaculate looking sculpts, really neat looking poses at an affordable price. Now, Diamond Select also releases many of their statues in high resin as well, but by keeping these, as I've said frequently already, when you keep these statues to plastic, PVC plastic, you can keep the cost relatively low. 
price points for gallery statues on average will go from about a 40 to around a 70 to 80 dollar price point depending on the, of course the size of the statue I mean, it's a far cry from the prices that you would expect to pay for, say, for example, like the resin pieces, which will be double or sometimes even triple that. All around, again, very nice looking statue. For fans of the Green Arrow or Arrow TV series, you may want to pick this one up and add it to your existing collection. So frequently, when we have a look at the gallery statues here on this channel, consistent trends start to appear. I talk a little bit about the stance of the statue, which is always generally usually good with these pieces. If you've looked at any one of my gallery statue reviews, you know that Diamond Select do put out pretty creative looking poses above and beyond simply just having the, sta the characters in the statues in museum poses, which is basically just a figure standing straight up on its legs. No, Arrow, as you can see, has been dynamically posed in a way that he looks like he's about to shoot off one of his arrows. I like the way that he's perched the top of the top of the building here, which does look like it could be the top of the building. And it's got some great coloring. The head sculpt is good. And again, the paint is really where these pieces excel. If the paint is missed ever so slightly, no matter how good the sculpt may be, the statue gets lost. Luckily, the icing on top of the cake is the fact that Diamond Select, when they are painting their pieces, do put as much care into the paint as they did with the sculpt. Indeed, yes, indeed, a nice looking statue for fans, again, of the Arrow television series. You may want to pick this one up for yourself. Some good news, by the way, my friends, colleagues, and viewers of this interweb channel. If you guys are interested in picking up the new Diamond Select Gallery Arrow television series PVC diorama statue, that's a mouthful. Good news is you can find this now at your local comic book stores. Today, once again, we were having a look at the Diamond Select Aero Television Series. I'm not going to say all that stuff once again in closing comments, but we were having a look at the gallery statue of Oliver Queen, a.k.a. Aero. You guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other gallery statue reviews? Don't blame you. Don't blame me at all. There's a playlist, if you can believe it, allocated, dedicated, and all that good stuff just specifically for gallery reviews, if you guys want to check that out. Also, if, re if reviews of statues is your thing, as much as you appreciate all the time and care that I put into figure reviews, thank you for that, by the way, if you are specifically just sourcing out statue reviews, there's also a playlist just for statues. I kind of want to cover off all the bases to make sure that you guys are getting all the videos that you're looking for and maybe not some of the stuff that you don't generally watch. That's okay. Uh, also, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below because certainly more videos like this, maybe not exactly like this, but you get the idea. More videos like this will be coming your way, so stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.